Surprise Comics. Happy New Year, y'all. I hope you had a fantastic holiday season so far, and I hope 2023 just blows 2022 out of the water for you. I don't think that's necessarily too tall of a task. It seems like it, it could be pretty easy to beat 2022, especially the number one thing would be if this dang comic book market would turn around. If we start to see prices get back on the rise, holy smokes, 2023 actually has a lot of potential. There's potential here. So I'm optimistic. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over the first collection that I've picked up in 2023. And we'll hop into that here in a sec. But before we do, we have a brand new giveaway, brand new year, new giveaway. We're giving away a 12 cent Fantastic Four. If you sign up for the newsletter over at BriceComics.com, it's where you get first access to new collections like this, discount codes, mystery boxes. I do believe there's a mystery box available right around the time that this video drops. And we also do a monthly giveaway here on the YouTube channel. This month, I'm giving away a Clayton Crane signed signature series 9.8 book. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, comment on this video and like this video and you're entered to win that. This collection, I paid a, a little bit better than 60% of recent sales for this. I valued the collection around $7,600 um, and so I paid $4,600 and I also covered the cost of shipping, which was not cheap because uh, it was a lot of big heavy boxes. Uh, so a lot of times people will comment on videos and say, oh man, you absolutely robbed this guy uh, based Based off of just looking at you know some of the slabs and it always cracks me up because it's like it's a hundred slabs it's like did you really like accurately analyze the prices of a hundred slabs just by looking at them or did you maybe have price memory of what some of these books were selling for six months ago because prices for these books six months ago is not what they're selling for today so I actually do spend a lot of time looking up the actual values the actual recent sales of these books and that's how I come up with these numbers uh, sometimes people will say things like oh I saw, I looked at the first two books and can tell that you robbed this person. It's like, hmm, so you valued a hundred slab collection by looking at two books and you can value the whole thing. Very interesting. Uh, you got some mad skills there, sir, but uh, I know it's par for the course and, and it's kind of just tongue in cheek here, but uh, I do believe that it's competitive pricing. If that's something that interests you and you need to move your collection, contact info down in the description. This collection, it has some silver and bronze, not a whole lot, mostly modern books. I know that's another thing people like to give a lot of crap about, but there's some interesting data and uh, points of discussion about modern comics that we'll get into here in just a sec. So let's hop into these books. So here it is, guys here's the whole collection it's these stacks here and this stack so it's not this stack this is some other stuff that just came in i want to show you guys as well but we'll start off here with some silver and bronze daredevil number four and a 4.0 with white pages which is a nice little addition origin and first appearance of the purple man and Kilgrave. green lantern number 59 the first appearance of guy gardner and also the origin of green lantern retold classic gil kane and murphy anderson cover Marvel premiere number 47, 7.5 white pages. Scott Lang becomes Ant-Man. Captain America 117, 6.5 white pages. Origin and first appearance of the Falcon and Sam Wilson and Red Wing. This is a cool book, New Teen Titans, No Number from 1983. It's the Keebler edition, so uh, it's cool to see it in 9.8. Uh, it's a drug awareness promotional with a foreword by Nancy Reagan. There's the back cover for that one there. Secret Wars 2, number 3, uh, first appearance of The Beyonder. Secret Wars, number 1 from 2015, uh, first cameo appearance of God Emperor Doom. This is the Heroes Con edition exclusive, uh, homaging Marvel superhero Secret Wars, number 8, signed by Michael Zeck and John Beatty. Really awesome book. Department of Truth, number 1, uh, signed by James Tynion. First print, Harley Quinn, number one, signed by Amanda Condor and Jimmy Palmodi. All right, so we get into some modern keys here. You know, a lot of people hate on the modern keys, and I understand if you're a solely a Silver Age or Golden Age or Bronze Age collector. But one thing to keep in mind, if you're going to be, uh, you know, selling comics in any shape or form, especially if you're doing it to fund the hobby, is the vast majority of money changing hands in comics, in graded comics, is modern comics. More money is spent on modern comics than Silver Age comics, than Golden Age comics, than Bronze Age comics. Not combined, but each each category in itself, the category of modern comics, it takes the lion's share of money spent for graded comic books. Just a fun fact on that one there. Here's Champions number one. This is the 1 in 100 Alex Ross variant cover. This is the first team appearance of the new Champions. 
Marvel Point One, number one. Great time to pick this book up. First appearance of the new Nova and Sam Alexander. This is the Bradshaw wraparound variant. And then we have the cover A as well. Alias, number one. Also another book that's uh, cooled off quite a bit. Might be a good time to pick up. First appearance of Jessica Jones and the first Max title. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number one, 9.8 white pages. Always cool to see this in 9.8 because it just seems to be notoriously difficult to find in the wild in 9.8. Miss Marvel number one in 9.8. Nova number one in 9.8. Nova number two in 9.8. Black number one in a 9.8. Here's a book we haven't heard about in a long time. Still such an epic cover. I think uh, this series does have potential if it came to the screen, if they did it right. First appearance of Kareen Jenkins. And this is actually probably my preferred variant for the first series of Black is Black number four. This is the, the Donald Trump Donkey Kong variant, which is really hard to find and such a cool collectible. Static number one, we've got the first appearance of Static. This is the Polybag Edition. We've got one and two copies of that in a 9.8 and the Variant Edition in a 9.8. All right, here we got some awesome Spider-Verse stuff. I might have to pull some of these out to use in the next mystery box. Uh, here's Ultimate Fallout 4 second print uh, with the custom label, 9.8 and the Pakeli Variant. First appearance of Miles Morales second print. 9.8 ultimate comics spider-man number one second appearance and origin of miles morales polybag removed and issue number two from that series with the custom label and issue number four from that series with the custom label spider gwen ghost spider number one the animation variant awesome cover here for spider gwen spider get in number zero uh, comic mint exclusive homaging superheroes number eight Edge of Spider-Verse number two, third print with the custom label, first appearance of Gwen Stacy as the new Spider-Woman who then becomes who we all know and love as Spider-Gwen. Spider-Verse number one, the Walmart edition, and Spider-Verse number one from 2015. So here we have some modern DC keys, Infinite Crisis number three, Infinite Crisis number five, the first appearance of the new Blue Beetle. Batman number 40. This is the Kubert variant cover signed by Scott Snyder. Sideways number one. First appearance of Sideways. Convergence Superman number two. Birth and first appearance of Jonathan Samuel Kent. Flash number six. Now this one was signed and sketched by Joshua Williamson, but it wasn't witnessed by CGC, so that's why it gets a green qualified label for that. And Flash number 70, also signed and sketched by Joshua Williamson. New 52 Free Comic Book Day editions. The first appearance of Simon Baz with an awesome Jim Lee cover. Justice League 31, first full appearance of Jessica Cruz. Superman Son of Cal L number one. Superman number one homage. America number one, first solo America Chavez. Thor number one, first cover appearance of Jane Foster as Thor. Vision number one, I think this is a good spec. Uh, first appearance of Virginia, Vin, and Viv Vision. And Young Avengers number one, volume two from 2013. Nice little run of Department of Truth here. We got Department of Truth number one, cover A. Cover B, the Jenny Friesen cover, signed by Jenny Friesen and James Tynion, which is really cool to see. Um, this is the secret variant for Department of Truth number one. So. For a secret variant is when the distributors don't solicit this variant to retailers and they just throw it in at a certain ratio. So this was, I believe, a 1 in 10. So for every 10 copies that a retailer ordered of cover A, they just slipped this in there. And some people didn't even recognize it because it looks very similar to the cover A. And that's kind of usually how they do the secret variants is they make it just slightly different. Um, so it makes it fun and exciting and more valuable and more rare is the secret variant for Department of Truth number 1. Here's the fourth print, and here's the sixth print error variant. So the sixth print, this was supposed to be a one in 25 with the yellow cover, but they messed up on the solicitation and, or they messed up at the printer and made the one in 25s the cover A and the cover A the one in 25. So this one is technically the cover A, but it's the error edition for Department of Truth sixth print. Invincible Iron Man number two. This is the Piper variant cover. I think this is such an awesome cover with Riri just jabbing herself in the arm there with that uh, screwdriver. I think this is a really cool variant for, for Riri. And we got some 
other reread books, Ironheart number one, two copies of that, and two copies of Invincible Iron Man number one, and Stray Dogs number one, first print. Here's a little CBCS Secret War Run signature series, uh, witnessed signatures by Nick Spencer on Free Comic Book Day Secret Empire number one, Secret Empire number one, signed by both Nick Spencer and Steve McNiven, 9.8. And Secret Empire number zero, uh, signed by Nick Spencer. Here's another stack of books I wanted to show you guys that just came in. It uh, wasn't part of this collection purchase. This came from Matthew Manos's collection. I got it from him, Raw 3D Action Comics number one. Uh, it came back at 2.5, the first War 3D comic book from 1954. Really awesome to see that book slabbed. Star Wars number one, it came back at 7.0. Star Wars High Republic number one, the Villanelli Virgin Edition, homaging Clone Wars, 9.8. Star Wars The High Republic number one, this is the German variant edition, so it's not the Italian, this is the German one, uh, the Gabriel Del Otto cover. I have to look up the scarcity difference between the German and the Italian edition of that. New Mutants number 14, I love this uh, for the key significance, the first Ilyana Rasputin as magic. Um, so this, these books, these next books are part of a trade that I did for the X-Men 4 signed by Stan Lee. This was one of them. I just wish it had a better cover. That would definitely be a PC book for me if it had a better cover. Which brings up a really interesting point that if for PC books, like Il Ilyana Rasputin and magic is like a PC character for me. But what do you do? I want to hear from you guys in the comments. If you have a character that you love that has awful covers like do you still collect that and put that on a wall i mean people are going to look at this and go what is that what what is the key significance of that book um is it worth it to have key significance books that are on the inside with terrible covers or do you just skip those i'm curious what you guys do on that one submariner number one uh cbcs 4.0 first solo subby and Tales of Suspense 94, the first appearance of MODOK in a 7.0. There you have it, folks. Thanks once again for sticking with me all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget we have two brand new giveaways for this month. A 12 cent Fantastic Four if you sign up for the newsletter at BryceComics.com and a Clayton Crane signed 9.8 Signature Series book if you subscribe to the channel, comment, and like this video. Tons of exciting things in store already this year that I can't wait to share with you guys. Thanks again, as always, for sticking with me to the end, and we'll catch you in the next video. Video. Bye. Brise Comics.